Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this vlog is very interesting. As I say later on, it's probably going to be followed by a vlog about mental health because I think I realised a lot of things about myself during this little trip of mine. Good and bad, but I've learned. It's now a week since the BFI. I've had to have a little social media break and that's why I've uploaded it a week late. I already have my video out that is just the Q&A so please go have a look at that. This is my trip to the BFI. I was very excited because it was my birthday on the 19th of March so pretty much the best present I could ask for going to this. I completely didn't realise until the other day that it's Natasha's birthday on the 3rd of April. I so would have had something planned to give her even even if it was just a card but I didn't realise so I've got a great mug shot of her to uh I need to buy a better SD card because I keep forgetting I have stuff on there. Keeps running out, memory full, completely lose track of where I am. Anyway, so yeah, I have a great mug shot of her from my footage, so I'll be uploading that on her birthday. So yeah, it was it, it was a good time. I've had a week to think about it, you know, take in the fact that it happened. Today I've just looked back at the footage. I was very embarrassed with how nervous I was because I've met famous people before, I've done filming before as an actress, so I know how to be around famous people, but for some reason I just could not keep my shit together this time at all. I've never needed to poop so badly in my life than when I was sitting in that cinema. Not that you needed to know. But yeah, so this is my day. I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna uh, speak a bit during the vlog because a lot of it is just cool aesthetic footage that never really worked out. So I'll see you in a jiffy. <laughs> Change here. Good evening, guys. So I'm currently at Waterloo Station having a nice little coffee and I uh, have a lovely view of the station but why am I here you ask? Well today is the 23rd of March and the BFI Flare Festival is currently on and being a queer film reviewist that I am I have to go see a film. Now I think it was only released three weeks ago that Carmilla was being shown there not as part of a uh, film competition, but because it was chosen out of popularity, I think. But um, yeah, I'm going to see that. I'm really excited. And two days before, it was announced that Natasha has come in to do a Q&A. Ah, Q&A. Oh my god. So excited. I have my question ready. And I have to shout out my roommate, Victoria, because she was the one that said right you need to get a front seat front row just in case i was like oh my neck's gonna be sore i might as well have been in the middle but i i got a front seat one and now i am front row middle seat for natasha's q a and i have the perfect view of her amazing gorgeousness her female empowerment and i can't wait so, I hope you like my new nose ring. I'm trying something new. This will focus. There we go. New nose ring. I'm trying it out. And yeah, so that's why I'm here. I'm gonna change on because it hurts. So yeah, thank you Victoria for getting me front row seats. Very excited. It's a shame you couldn't be here. You didn't know. You had to book your flights early. And you left me. It's a shame. But I'm sure I'll make some friends. I'll have fun. There's plenty of you guys out there. So, um,. Yeah, I'm excited. The film, it starts at 10 to 9. It's currently 20 to 8. So I have a lot of spare time. So I'm just going to take in the station. So I get very anxious travelling. I don't know if I want to walk to the London Eye or not. I'll see once I've had my latte. But um, yeah, nice little Friday night adventure. Very, very excited. And this is going to be such a weird experience. My mum is obsessed with Tom Hardy and Killian Murphy. I said to her, 
me meeting Natasha and being probably two metres away from her is equivalent to you being Tom Hardy, Killian Murphy, two metres away from them. So she understands how I feel. She's helped me glam up tonight. I've got my fake lashes on, which feel weird, but I'm getting used to it. I've got my cool top on. It's probably backwards, but it says, why be racist? Uh, what's that say? Sexist, homophobic, transphobic. When you could just be quiet. Thought. So if I think of anything more to talk to you guys about, because I'm too excited to think right now, I will get back to you and I will record the Q&A. Do not worry. I'll have that as a separate video as well, because I know the cream puffs love just watching the videos on their own. So I'll have that content in this video and I'll have a video released just afterwards where you can watch it just alone. So I will see you at the BFI cinema. At this point, I um, was very incorrectly following my Google Maps. This is London, baby. And went a bit too far, but I did get a good view on the bridge. Just outside the BFI gonna go in in a bit. I found out my lecturer who got nearly nominated for Oscar is here tonight. So if I see her that would be cool. But yeah, getting closer. The BFI had a really cool gallery of what I assume was all the LGBT content ever created. So it was really nice to have a look around of all of that. The BFI flair has ended now so I doubt it'll be there anymore. But I do say go next year. You have to go next year. Even if it's not Carmilla. You've got to go see it next year. This is the cinema. Have the front row seat. Thank you, Victoria. This is when it wasn't that filled up, but I had got there very early because organised me does. Without further ado, I am absolutely thrilled to be able to introduce you to you tonight and welcome to the stage the lead actor, Carmilla herself. Please welcome Natasha Negabanlis. <laughs> It's like the moment my three years of dealing with my sexuality just came into a core and made sense. And it's, it, it, I still can't comprehend it. I look back at the footage every single day and I just cannot believe she spoke to me. UK Clexicon, you're gonna see me there. Am I sorry? Um, none of these people will watch it if I'm not Carmilla. Um, <laughs> um, thank you, that means a lot. I am very worried about being replaced. Hello. Hello. Um, I just want to firstly thank you for all the love and passion that you put into Carmilla and that everyone else puts into it because I study film and it's definitely helped my drive to make more diverse representation in film. Um, my question is, from series one to development primetime series, in the production side of things, what do you think is making Carmilla so popular? Like, is it uh, the writing? Is it the casting? Is it the diversement in the crew? What do you think it is, production-wise? Oh, wow. Um... I am 
I'm just an actor on this particular project, so I do feel like I'm not maybe the best person to answer that question, because um, I haven't been involved in any of the development or the production on this particular thing. Um, I'm a little bit biased, I dare say it's, it's the chemistry between Louise and me, maybe. Well, 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 and like <laughs> also the fact that fan outreach and youth outreach is really, really important to me. Um, that maybe makes me sound like an arrogant jerk. Um, I, I think also a big part of its success is that um, audiences were clearly very starved for positive queer representation. So I do think the fact that it is a very feminist female forward um, queer series with also a non-binary character, which is so unique and wonderful and important. Um, I love Caitlin. I think that they do a fantastic job at playing her character. Um, I think all of those aspects really, really add to it. Um, and I also think it was really wonderful that we had a director that really made sure it wasn't shot for the male gaze. Um, this film was, that love scene was directed by a guy, believe it or not, a straight man. And I think that he was really generous and wonderful and, and respectful of making sure that we were able to um, portray it the way that we wanted to do it. Um, so yeah, I guess those are things. But I, I actually, like, I truly don't know. I wish I could answer. I literally, I really know nothing about um, the future of this, but I, I can just say that Carmilla means a lot to me, and I would be more than happy to continue on with it. Basically, I didn't want to record this bit because why would you record yourself having a conversation with someone? It just doesn't make sense. But. I saw someone run right up to her as soon as it finished and give her some sort of present or something. So I thought, okay, it's my chance. I need to get in there. So I ran up to the stage, as did every other cream puff in the audience. We all stood around. I think Natasha felt a bit overwhelmed. She didn't expect so many of us to be at a film festival. But, I mean, come on. We're dedicated, we're gonna do that. So yeah, she she was up there and I asked for my magazine to be signed. I will have to show you in another vlog because I don't have it on me and I'm not home at the minute, which is a bit sad. But I did get it signed and I felt very lucky and I'm going to frame it. It was my Lucid magazine. Definitely gonna be framed somewhere in my room. It's now my shrine. It's my shrine of Natasha, just a magazine. So it's gonna be not weird at all. So yeah, I got that signed. Nearly every other person wanted something signed, but no one brought a pen. I was the only one, because I'm an overthinker, again, that remembered a pen. So I was passing it round, kept giving it back to Natasha, having a bit of banter with her. And then she had this really nice shirt on. I love my shirts. You can never find any with something embroidered on them. She had these lovely roses down them, as you can see. I loved it, and um, I just I said it's a nice top. Is it? Oh, fucking radiator. I said that's a nice top. Where'd you get it from? She said it's a Canadian independent place, which is what I actually asked. And she looked and smiled at me, and it sounds so weird, but I'm sure everyone once in their life has had a massive appreciation for someone that even if they look at you, you are thankful they've looked at you or even smiled. So at that point I was extra grateful. She spoke for a bit but as well as being overwhelmed by how many people there were, she couldn't organise a meet and greet so obviously we shouldn't have even been speaking to her at that point. She should have left the stage and gone out and that would be it. But she was nice enough to stay behind, say hi to a few of us, sign a few things for us. And I thought that was really nice. Um, I didn't want to get a picture just because I'd already asked a question, already asked for my magazine to be signed. You know, it's a picture. I'm just glad I, oh, I'm just glad I was there in the moment to experience that. A lot of other people were ecstatic. I wish I could have been, but I was on my own, so I think freaking out on the spot would be. A little weird, but glad I did it. Everyone else would be freaking out on the spot, but I didn't. I had to stay cool. I think that was probably the beer that helped me do that, which is pretty lucky. And yeah, and then she went, and we all went, and then I didn't realise the time. It was quarter past eleven, and I had to rush for my train. But obviously, I didn't realise that until I got all this footage. <laughs> 
If I didn't have a travel card, I would have stayed, but it did look like fun. It is approximately 1.35am in the UK right now. And I'm having to be very quiet because my parents are in bed and I'm home from uni. But tonight was insane. I met my ultimate life crush. I met her, spoke to her, got my magazine signed, complimented her shirt and I trembled like <coughs> asking her a question. I'm trembling. I don't do a lot of travelling to London on my own especially at night and I think the anxiety of that and meeting my god just got a lot so I've come home feeling slightly sick and shaky but I know that I'm very happy after all of this I just need to feel better, calm down and then my, ex my happy emotions can come through I had a beer before I went in so beer plus latte She was literally exactly what she looks like on kind of TV, magazines, on her Instagram, but she is an amazing person and she really considers considers everything everyone says. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm just very overwhelmed right now. I still have to take all my makeup off. Got my lashes off because they were getting itchy and um, yeah I'm just blabbering now but I had a fabulous night it's lovely to be a BFI South Bank I have to go there again soon I just can't believe that's happened it's like it goes past so quickly and you build up such an excitement and then it happens and then it's just like you want to hold on to it forever you just want it to happen forever and it's insane and I'm so I appreciate it that I'm someone that was able to experience that because I know there's a lot of people around the world that don't have that opportunity and I did tonight and I'm very hashtag blessed for that. I'll have to update you guys in the morning when I'm feeling a bit better, had some sleep and when I can talk a bit louder so thank you very much, have a good night, speak to you soon. So I am back with you a week later, it's a bit annoying, once again it's 11pm, my parents are in bed because we're on holiday right now, so I'm having to be quiet, but I feel much better. I actually went to a tarot reader this morning and um, it was weirdly accurate, weirdly accurate about this week, so I think I'm going to do another vlog on that and build up with a pre-excitement for clairvoyant, obviously. So expect that soon, but for now I'm feeling better than I did. It has been a week and I still have a lot of anxiety, but doing this now, editing the footage, I feel much happier. And I feel because of seeing Natasha and what she's done with the film, and I said about that in my question about having a drive, I have made a new channel on YouTube called Fenwood TV. 
that's where I'm going to be uploading most of my directorial content and other people's as well. I won't explain it too much now, I'll do another video for that as well. So in the meantime, enjoy this video, enjoy my playing Q&A video and I hope you guys have a good day. See ya!